Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls, and happy birthday, America. Uncle Jay's on vacation. Maybe you are, too. Maybe you got the weekend off uh, before the 4th or the weekend after. But you know what? Congress has the entire week off. In fact... Welcome to a special Uncle Jay episode all about the hardest working Congress in America, Congress. That's why Uncle Jay's news word for this week is recess. Recess is the word they use when Congress takes days off. Now, it's not like school recess. Uh, The Congress doesn't go out and play and goof off and pick on people who can't fight back. They do that when they're in session. No, congressional recess is officially called a district work period. It's when each congressperson goes back to their hometown to do a job and to do the job for their constituents. There is a district work period for President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day. Each one of those days lasts for a week, by the way. And then there's a two-week district work period in April. It's around spring break when everybody leaves town, so the Congress people have no choice but to follow their constituents to where they are and and work. Now, all those work periods makes them so tired, boys and girls, that they need the whole month of August for a... Just so they can recharge... uh, Actually, that is also called a summer district work period. So, actually, that must be the hardest work of all. But the whole rest of the year, they're in Washington, hard at work, Monday through Friday, doing all the, all the actually just Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, because they need Mondays and Fridays to go back to their hometowns and work with their constituents. It's like having a home office, boys and girls, with all the savings of a home office, if you don't count the flying there and back, which they don't because uh, your parents and Uncle Jay pay for that. And someday you will, too. Oh, and let's not forget those exhausting fact-finding missions. Oh, they're grueling the incredible amount of facts to be found in places like Hawaii, Cayman Islands. So when Congress actually does get some time off, they have earned it. Between Christmas and New Year's, they get to be with their families. And it's actually between Thanksgiving and New Year's when they get to be with their families. It's actually between late October and New Year's. Boys and girls, if you wonder why Congress needs so many days off, maybe it's because they need to rest up for the hard-working year ahead. Because, you know, with over 90% of them getting reelected, they're pretty sure to be stuck in this dead-end job for another term. Well, boys and girls, if you still haven't figured out the difference between work and recess, that could mean you'll be congressional material when you grow up, or especially if you don't. Well, Uncle Jay will be back from his recess next week to explain the news. And until then, remember, a good kid is good news.